And hello, everyone. Uh, jumping on tonight to play another Unlock Adventure. Or two, depending on the time. Um, so this is continuing the set that was started last time. Uh, where I played a no-side story. Which... Ended up being a little, like, birthday party for no side or something. It was weird. Um, but this is the Secret Adventures set, I believe. And this is the the second one. In the, in the, the, I mean, they're not exactly trilogies. They're, they're sets of three. Second in the set. Uh, the Tombstone Express. So this is the two lock difficulty one. And depending on how long it takes to get through this, there is also the three lock one, the Adventurers of Oz. Um, so this has, oop, starting card. Um, deck of cards as usual. And also comes with six, these little bullet tokens. So, they're probably going to be used for something. Um, so yeah, these usually take about an hour. Although, I tend to do them in about an hour and a half. They're supposed to be done in an hour or less, but I just... I don't know, I cannot see being able to do these in less than an hour. That seems ridiculous. But whatever, I don't really care about the timing of it. I'm not going for score. I'm just interested in enjoying the process. So, I just want to see these beginning to end. I don't really want to do them as quickly as possible. Um, but yeah, so uh, depending on how long this one takes, if there's enough time, I might do Wizard the uh, Adventurers of Oz as well. Um, if not, I may just end early on how things are going. Um, as usual with the Unlock games, I have um, my phone pulled up so I can keep track of things like the machines. Uh, this one comes with codes, uh, as well as whatever hints and other things uh, come up. Uh, I've turned the music off again. Again, I, I don't know how bad it is to have the music turned on, but I figure to be safe, it's off. Uh, so it'll just be sound effects. Um, I don't think there should be an issue, but whatever. You know, just in case. But anyway. Um, yeah, get started on this one. And then we'll see what this, I mean, this one This one is a bit more complicated. There's more stuff to it. It comes with things like a map and mirrors and special cards and all kinds of weird things. So this should be an interesting one to do, which again kind of lends to my theory that the number of locks doesn't really determine difficulty, it determines complexity. Because this one was fairly simple and straightforward. This one seems to be a little bit more complex, in particular because of these bullet tokens. And this one is very complex with a bunch of different new stuff. But anyway, <clears throat> Tombstone Express. 1890. You are a sheriff and your mission is simple. Ensure the train reaches Tombstone in less than an hour, at all costs. A marshal is on board and carries a precious package, a gem that could seal a peace treaty with the Apaches. So, you station yourself on the open wagon that is behind the locomotive, ready to defend the train no matter what. Launch the app, select the scenario, Tombstone Express, and then press Start put this card over. So not much else to set up. <clears throat> I'll get ready. App is ready to go. Um, I'll leave it open for the most part. If nothing else, then just for the countdown timer. I'll try and make sure I remember that it is actually there and that it's not covering up anything important. Uh, but every now and then I might just turn it off to give a full view of everything that's going on. But without further ado, Let's get this started. 
And so, countdown begins. Or count up, I guess. Interesting. Okay. We start on the open wagon. I need to grab a few cards. Uh, let's see. L. L. Um, 15, 20. Nope, I'll set that out after. Uh, 30 and 34. 30, 34. Okay. A few cards to start out with. All right, so 34 is either this guy or the pile of coal. That's him. Hank Homeless. Listen, Sheriff, I bother no one. I just can't afford a ticket. I squat here with my dog and my music. I won't make trouble, cross my heart. And he has something for Jay. Okay, well, let's take a look at what he has. And Jay is... The Tombstone Gazette, April 18th, 1890. Geronimo's heart, the famous gem under good escort, will be returned this day to the Apaches. This strong gesture marks the first step toward the signing of an unprecedented peace treaty in this region. Yankee Doodle. Yankee Doodle, the famous anthem of the Union Army, was played during the commemoration of the 25th anniversary of the assassination of Abraham Lincoln. The presidential orchestra gave a particularly moving per performance. Smoke signals explained. Mr. Fillmore Bernstein, famous art anthropologist and specialist in Apache matters, gave an exciting lecture on the meaning of smoke signals. Thus it was learned that the number of smoke plumes indicate, one, a warning, two, a return to calm, and three, an alert. Okay, I might need to use this bit at some point later on. Okay. And apparently we're supposed to give this guy something because he is the red half of a um, of a lock or connection or whatever. Anyway, um, 30. Ah, badge and gun. Okay, so 30 is probably the badge. Yes. 20 is the gun. Your revolver. A pistol with six bullets. Sheriff's badge. I wonder if I show him. Oof. Behind you, an explosion shakes the train. Then gunshots resound. The armored car is under attack. Take card C. On the roof, P and 47. Okay, let's just quickly take a look at what the rest of these are. Um, so 15 is... Firelift Brazier. Nights are cold in the desert. And then L is... This guy. Snow, the engine driver. If all goes well, we'll arrive within an hour. Okay, let me just grab 12 real quick for this guy. And then I'll grab the ones for this one. Oh, and I can clear that. Um, 12. Do no. okay. So this is a machine. As Snow says, all seems to be working. Uh, all seems to be perfectly working, or working perfectly. Okay, so I guess I'll come back to this at some point later. Uh, for now, I need 47 and P. 47 and B. A document that probably flew off during the explosion. Do not trust anyone, not even yourself, nor your escort. The theft of the heart would be disastrous. The war against the Apaches must stop. 
Peace will put an end to injustice. Don't you see anything when closing the briefcase? These things keep happening. Um, we must dedicate all our efforts to the Union as Cleveland. Um, oh, so the briefcase. Jeez, I only just got that. Okay, 50 and 8. So many cards. 50 and 8. So that's the briefcase. And 50 is the guy on the ground. Yeah, there's these that combine into a number. A bullet blew up the briefcase's lock. The Geronimo's heart gem has disappeared. So that would be... Um, that was on top of that. That would look like an 8. And that would be a 6. So 86? Eighty six. Getting all these cards, I haven't got enough time to actually figure out what to do with them all. Um oh get rid of card eight. Okay. Don't need that anymore. False bottom. Abraham Lincoln plus star. Now enter code 9999. You enter investigation in the car, then go back to the roof to reach the following cars. Take card F. Um, okay. Passenger car. Grief. Okay, hang on. Let's... Ooh, all this stuff. Down. Uh, that's where we started. On the roof. There. Armored car, and then passenger car. That came from the roof. These came from the armored car. Okay, before I do that, let's take a look at what this guy is all about. His stomach bleeding, Marshal John whispers to you, The explosion blinded me. The Apache jewel was stolen. You must find out who did this before we arrive in Tombstone. And he faints. Are there any numbers? I think the numbers are usually pretty obvious, so they're not going to be as obscured as, as like something on his belt. Doesn't look like any numbers. Okay. Um, so card F is this one. 1352, and it looks like K is yet another car. 1352 and K. 13. 52. Okay. Oof, geez, I hope I get to actually do something with all this stuff. Okay, um... Blue cards, red cards, and those. Okay, so this guy is... The guy with the gun and the dynamite? And 52 is the girl. Dynamite Wacko. Lady Jane. Was red. And then K goes to... Yeah, the bar. Okay. All I want is gold. Anyhow, yesterday, when I was at the saloon, I heard two guys speaking about a heart. Can't say I saw their faces. But one of them was wearing an old confederate uniform. Okay. I don't 
see any hidden numbers. So for now, I think I'll just leave that as that. And Lady Jane. Saw nothing, heard nothing. Mama doesn't want me talking to strangers. Some use of authority should get what you want. Ah. Uh, five, six, seven, eight, eighty-two. Eighty-two. Not a stranger, lady. I am a sheriff, and I'd like to ask you a few questions. Discard fifty-two. So I'm guessing the badge can be used for other things as well. Okay, sheriff, I get it. No need to badger me to death. I'll tell you what I know. I only heard footsteps on the roof, and it seemed as they were heading to the back of the train. Say, what's this jewel worth? Okay. No hidden numbers. At least not that I can see. Unless there's something in the paper. No, I think that's, that's fine. Okay. All right, let's keep going back. Bar car. Okay, a bunch more cards. Yeesh. Um, H. That probably needs to lead to the next place. Uh, 26... 42, 81. Card is stuck in the door of the passenger car. Twenty two, or is that two? 22. There is no 2. Okay, so it has to be 22. Oh, good grief. More and more cards. Okay, uh, so, right, so this is the passenger car. Uh, okay. King of Hearts. Interesting. Um, okay, anyway. Still chasing after these guys on the roof. Um, 81 is the bartender. Sean, the bartender. Okay, smartass, the code for the next door is made of my favorite numbers. Okay, well, that is in the mirror, so I'm guessing that's meant to be 18. Um, and cigar is 10. There is an actual 18 card, but I'm not sure if I'm supposed to draw it. Oh, well, let's see. This might be the bottle of alcohol. Okay, so the cigar. Yeah, a still smoking cigar. There are no numbers on that. So I'm guessing I'm supposed to give someone a cigar. And 18 for the bottle of drink. A reflection in the mirror. <laughs> okay. Uh, four, three, six, two. How many do you have this? Multiple gunshots resound all around you. The train windows are smashed to pieces. Take card Y. Good grief, what is going on? Why am I getting so many cards? Take card Y. Okay, uh, I'll get to that in a moment. Um, 26 and 42 are these two gentlemen. Um, I spent the strip playing with Jack, and he just took my last coin. Jack the lefty, Professor Nock. I'm a poker player, man. Try me. 33, 43, 50. Oh, good more cards. Uh, uh, okay, let's see what Y is all about. This broad is Jack the Train. Oof. Stop immediately what you're doing. Take cards three, four, five, six, and seven. Uh, 
Um, each player gets a bullet, takes two steps back, and shoots the desperados so to knock them down. If unsuccessful, players can pick up the bullet and try again. Uh, hang on, let me pause the timer for a second. Um, so this is not something I can easily do in tabletop. Um, how would I do this? Three, four, five, six, seven. An interesting idea. And six bullets. I don't think you really need six. Okay, so how would I do this? I guess I only really need the one. Okay, is it possible? I could do that. I feel like that's just going to automatically hit. Um, this thing is just meant to take time off. There's no, there's nothing, you don't get anything for succeeding. Okay, I think <laughs> as long as this is, I'm just gonna flick the bullet and just count the time. Okay, time has started. So, first shot. Phew! Got one. Second shot. Got that one. Third shot. Got that one. Him. And got him. Okay. <laughs> that was weird. Okay. Once all five, uh, once all five desperados are down, discard them and card Y. Then resume the investigation. Okay. That's that taken care of. Uh, now back to this. Okay. So this guy wants to play a game, but I think I might come back to him. Let's see if I can get through this door. Oop. Oh, for Pete's sake. Hidden object. Did you look closely at the armchair in the bar car? Oh, 88. Yeah, okay. Geez, that's pretty obvious. <laughs> All right. Um, okay, fine. Whatever. 88. <laughs> Grief. Get through this deck of cards like crazy. Okay, that's another playing card. Okay. Um, all right, so the code for the door is his favorite number. So if I do the code four, three, six, two. Doesn't work after all you're looking into a mirror. Oh man, I got penalized. Oh, for 
heat sake, right. So that's actually six, three, four, two. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, padlock unlocks. As you enter the freight car, you believe you hear a muffled sound. Take card T, discard 18 and H. So both of those are gone. Take card T. Great car. I can see someone there. Okay, 49 and 38. 49 and 38. Poncho. Private. Door locked with a strange musical mechanism. Okay. So that's as far as I can go. So now I need to figure out what to do with all the rest of this stuff. Oof. Okay. I could try giving him this stuff. Um. Wait, let's get rid of that. Okay, let's take a look, quick look at 12 just to see if there is anything that can be done with this. So machine, 12, go. Dude, don't touch this. It goes like clockwork. Okay, so no, I'm not supposed to do anything with that yet. Um, I haven't done this. I'm a poker player, man. Try me. So 33, 43, and 53. 33, 43, 53. He has three more cards. Um, 10, Jack, Queen, King, Ace. Oh, there are lines. Oh, this is going to be another one where I can't really... Well, actually. Um, I should probably start at this end. Fourteen? Fourteen. <clears throat> okay, is there a fourteen? Yes, there is. Oh, got yeah, straight. Okay, uh, so discard twenty-two, th uh, twenty-two, thirty-three, forty-two, forty-three, fifty-three, and eighty-eight. Which I'm pretty sure is all of these. Um, eighty-eight, fifty-three. Forty three, forty two. Oh, what's forty two? Yeah, forty two, thirty three, and twenty two. Okay, so these all go into the discard pile. And now I get this. Devil's luck. Never seen something like that. Here's a coin I wasn't able to keep long. I've got the feeling I'll win my money back soon. 51. Of 
coin squarely won at poker. There's something... X out Abraham plus star. Abraham plus star 81? Is that a thing? No, there is no 81. Okay, so this is the point where you start figuring out if any of these go with anything else. Okay, uh, we got two red cards. Uh, Hank the Homeless Man and the Fireless Brazier. Uh, for a start, let's see. The only thing I could think of... 25? There is a 25. Most of these could end up being penalties, but we'll see. I mean, it kind of makes sense that this could go with that. Maybe you can light it back up again? Well, let's see. Yes. You got a nice blaze going. Okay. Get rid of 10 and 15. Maybe I'm supposed to be making this guy feel warm and comfortable. Oh, for Pete's sake. Um, the train slows down and then stops in the middle of nowhere. Take card A. Uh, for Pete's sake. What's going on now? Breakdown. Damn locomotive broke down. Most probably damaged by the desperados. Impossible to repair it. Help me or your marshal will kick the bucket in this desert. Stop immediately what you're doing. Launch machine 12 in the app. Repair it by lighting all its dials. Ugh. Okay. Uh, machine 12. Oh, it's this puzzle. I hate these puzzles. Um... <laughs> Damn it. Um, I know there's like a trick to them or something, but I can never remember what it is. All right, well, hmm, hang on, reset. Um, okay. There we go. <laughs> the locomotive is in motion again. You can resume your investigation, discard A and 12. Okay. Uh, the next thing I want to try and do is see about giving the poncho to Hank. So that will be four, five, six, seven, eighty-three. No. Okay. Um, I can't give this. Oh wait, I can give this coin back to him. He is a red card. Oh, then in that case, let's give this coin back to the guy who lost it. 50, 60, 77. There is no 77.
Dang it. Um, what about giving it to Hank? What would that be? 84? No. Okay. Um, are there any hidden numbers in here? Oh, there is a... There's a thing there. Which I'm guessing has to do with this guy. Okay, well, let's see what that is about. Lamo. Hey, well, the Apache. You find a stowaway behind a hid, hiding behind crates. I'm sure you don't have the heart anymore. We knew we couldn't trust you. You're gonna dearly regret this loss. My tribe will attack soon. Um. What letters X, S, G, B? I don't see anything that looks like a number or a letter. I would have said that her neck, uh, the the strap or whatever, is a Y, but I've already done Y. Um. Okay, I don't think there's anything I can do with this right now. Okay, uh, let's see. Is there anything else in all this stuff? I'm assuming if there was any other hidden numbers, it would have told me. It seems to be popping up with pretty much everything. I got 22... Um, okay, got the eighty eight, got the eighteen. Hmm. Okay. Has to be something to do with these. S Cleveland. I have an S Cleveland? I don't think I do. Unless it's Sean. Hmm. Smoke signals explained. This might come about when the Apache attack. Okay, well, I still have these things. Let's see what else might fit. There's not a lot of cards left, actually. Um, okay, let's try showing the badge to the professor. That is 56. There is a 56. I'm re really worried about these being wrong cards. Ah, Dear the Sheriff, I once sold a small bottle of hair growing solution to a sheriff. I have tons of great products. Rheumatism, rheumatisms, constipation, baldness. Press the penalty button once. Balls. Okay, so that didn't do anything. Um, 49 and 25? Did I already check that? Hang on, 40, 50, 60, 74? There is a 74. Okay, let's give it a shot. Here we go. 
Oh, you're ready to send smoke signals. Oh, okay. 25 and 49. Both of these go away. So I wasn't trying to warm the guy up, or the homeless guy up. I was trying to send smoke signals. All right, 74. One, two, or three. Oh, what do I want to send? A warning, a return to calm, or an alert? Turn to calm? Nice smoke rings, nothing's happening. Well, one never knows in the West. Was that it? <laughs> okay. Um, in that case... Uh, let's see... 54? I don't think I want to shoot the guy. No. 64? No. 85? There's an 85. Do I want to give the Lincoln coin to this guy? Is there a reason why I would? Oh, I squat here with my dog and my music. Oh, if I pay him a coin, would he play a song? Uh, 85. Thanks, man. Take my harmonica. It's yours. Discard 51. Oh, so I bought his harmonica. I didn't get him to play it. <laughs> I can even teach you how to play one or two anthems. Listen to this tune. I just finished writing it. 85. Oh, this is going to be an auditory one, I believe. 85. Hank, Dixie, and Doodle. Is it going to be Doodle? Okay, so it's one six six. One six six eight. Let's go for one six six eight on the musical door. One, six, six, eight. Nothing's happened, probably the wrong tune. Hmm. Weird. I could have sworn that it would have been that one. So what could it be instead? Hmm.
I could have sworn that it would have been Yankee Doodle. Otherwise, what's the point of this? Well, I guess for the signals, but still, why would it say Yankee Doodle on that? Um, that's really frustrating. Okay. Uh, was there a penalty for getting it wrong? I can't remember. All right, let's try the let's try Hank. Zero six nine zero zero six nine zero. No, what the hell am I missing? Is it seriously? They just whoops. Unfortunately, I do lose time with each one I get wrong. Five one one. Door open. Seriously? How are you supposed to know that? Why would it be Dixie? That doesn't make any sense. I must have missed something along the way. Eh, whatever. Okay. Um. Discard thirty-eight and eighty-five. Discard thirty-eight and eighty-five. Thirty-eight. Thirty-eight and eighty-five. Eight card B. Well, that cost me a heck of a lot of time. I thought I was actually going to win this, but unfortunately, it looks like I'm not going to go over time. That sucks. Private car. Um, eleven. Sixteen. 24 and 28. Okay, so 28 is the map. Oof, 24 is flag. 16 is an armored safe. And 11 is a physician's bag held shut by a small lock. Can I sh shoot it off? <laughs> Not many cards left in here. Um, 31? <laughs> there is a 31. Okay, it worked. Discard 11. The lock cannot withstand your cult. Inside you find a confederate uniform and a small bottle with a reddish residue. Reddish. So, either red hair dye, or fake blood? Hmm. Okay, what is 
I'm guessing I'm supposed to know root. I don't think there's anything that's mentioned in root yet. Okay, well, okay, let's see. Flag. Don't really need that anymore. Okay, let's see. Okay, so there must be something that gives a path. Armored safe. Is there a hidden number? Doesn't look like it. Mm, no, not that I can see. Okay. Um, okay, well, let's look at some of these things that could go together. There aren't a lot of cards left. Um... There is 46. I could try shooting the guy. <laughs> Ooh, I don't think that's a good idea. Um, I've already tried 56. There is no 64. Maybe I should just try sending other smoke signals. Did I get it wrong? Oh, there's no 54. There's a 46. I'm fairly certain that that's a penalty card. I don't think shooting this guy is going to do any good. Hmm. Yeah, um, I'm going to see what I can do with the other smoke signals. So one is warning, three is an alert. What if I send a three? Nothing's happening. Uh... Nothing's happening. Okay, so I'm guessing I'm not supposed to do that yet. Um, okay. Where am I supposed to go from here? I need a path. I need code for the safe. There's a bunch of stars. But that isn't going to give a four-digit code. No numbers, there's no letters that I can see. These just seem to have random stains on it. I don't think they mean anything.
Hmm. Um, for Pete's sake, let's see. What else? What else? I am honestly kind of stuck. I'm not entirely sure what I'm supposed to be doing here. I'm so close to the end, too. Oh, it's a shame. Why did I get stuck here? Um, hmm. Uh, I'm just going to send the all clear signal again just in case it remembers the last thing that you sent. So, 74, 2, 3, 4, 5. There, let's leave it at that for now. What else can I do? I have these things, but none of them seem to go together. Sixty-four, fifty-six. Sixty-four, fifty-six. No. Thirty, forty, fifty, fifty-four, fifty-four, forty-six. Forty-six is the only one. You know what? I'm gonna try it. Okay, keep cool. I had to go back to my private car to take some money. Nothing illegal, right? So the private car is his. Discard 26. How does that help? He had to go back to his private car to take some money. Nothing illegal. That's great and all, but that didn't do anything. Oh, damn it. Okay, I am at a loss as to what I'm supposed to be doing next. So I think I am going to get a hint. And let's try for 16. In order to open it, you must understand the coded document. The one mentioning Lincoln's death. Coded document mentioning Lincoln's death. This? Bus and star. Lincoln's assassination plus star. Eighteen ninety. Lincoln's death plus star. 25th anniversary of the assassination. So 1890 minus 25 is... 85, 65, 1865. So 1865 plus... I don't know the number of points on the star? Hmm...
Add to the stars the flag. That's what that means, really? The number of stars that are on the flag. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Um, so it's actually only 10, so 1880. Jeez, I don't think I ever would have got that. Safe is open. Yeah, I never would have got that. Okay, discard 16, 24, and 86. 16, 16, 24, and, and 86. What's 86? Oh, this, okay. And take card 37. A bill. Really line A, Texas. 2221. 2 2 2 1 2 2 1 1 2 doesn't say which path two two Is this meant to represent like left and right? What what's which is which? I don't think I have anything that mentions numbers and left and right. Okay, well if two is left, then it's one, two, three, and then a right goes to Nevada. If they're rights, then one, two, three, and a left goes to Idaho. Okay. 28. If you start in Texas, I don't know, left, 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 right, left, 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 right. Then left, 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 right. No, that doesn't seem to be it. Oh, of course, this will be appearing sideways. Um, I don't know how to flip it sideways on the stream. Yeah, well. Okay. So, if it instead is right, 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 left, oops, then right, 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 left. No? 
Still nothing? Nope. Okay. Ugh, okay, hint time. 28. An item in the safe will point, at, point out to the correct path. Yeah, no kidding, I already found that. So hint for 37, I guess. The A train follows a path starting in Texas. No kidding. Why is the A capitalized? Oh, the A is capitalized. Okay. Count the number of A's on each step of the path. So two A's, two A's, oh geez, again, I don't think I ever would have thought of that. Some of these puzzles are a little, uh, not so great. Okay, well, machine, 28. Uh, so Texas, so two A's would be Kansas, two A's would be Nebraska, two A's would be Dakota, one A would be Idaho. Two A's, Nevada. Two A's, California. Two A's, Arizona. One A, Utah. There we go. A hidden panel behind the map opens. There's no sign of the heart, but you find a wire. Hurry up, the tombstone is getting closer. The discard 28 and 37. Take card 32. A wire, Western Union. SC, SC, that's this guy. Are these the people's names? One, two, three, four, five, six names. One, two, three, four, five. No, it's a lot more than six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nobody has nine letters in their name. Train pulls into the tombstone station. Passengers start getting off. The heart must be found before it vanishes forever. Take card S. There aren't many cards left. You didn't find Geronimo's heart, but maybe you have enough leads to arrest the one who stole it. Enter their name. One try only. Following this code, you only have 10 minutes. Um, okay, I have no idea what that is. Okay, so Confederate uniform red, it's it, it has to be John. Fake blood. Uh, this is probably wrong, but I'm going to go for him. Um, so the code would be J5 O8 H 
four and seven. You risk Marshal John and Nock, his accomplice. The wound is fake. You find John in his heart and his boot. The peace treaty has been saved, and you become a legend of the West. Okay. And one. Um, okay. I guess that's a victory. <laughs> I'm curious to know what this was all about, then. What the hell is this meant to be? Okay, um, I might just try that again. And I want to see what this is about. Have any secret adventures? Dreamstone Express. Um, hint for card 32. The X needs to isolate some words composing a coded message. Words. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, so it was words, not letters. So that was do yourself. Do yourself the theft of the heart. The war against the Apaches will put an end to the Union. Do yourself the theft of the heart. Do yourself. Okay. So do it yourself, basically. I mean, that kind of works. So, yeah, it was... <laughs> it's the, the marshal the entire time. Okay, well, that kind of worked out. That was a weird one. That was interesting. There were some bits I weren't too I wasn't too sure of. Like, what was the smoke signal thing? That was a little weird. Maybe I bypassed whatever this was? But there's only three cards left in here. Oh, shame on you pulling a gun like this in front of a lady. I'm expecting an apology. Okay, so that's that. Ending two. The Apaches attack and, attack and take control of the train. Ah, so this if I hadn't sent the smoke signal, I guess. And the culprit over. And missed. That was a weird one. Okay, that was kind of interesting, but very weird. I guess that was one that you couldn't finish early, because there is no end card. You have to reach the end and be able to name who the, the culprit was. But I don't know, were there other clues? Because, I mean... I mean, this was okay, this was fine. I was kind of... I was getting there. I would have probably figured this out eventually. But... I mean, this was kind of a giveaway. Bottle with the reddish red residue? I mean, this basically just says, yeah, this guy did it. Because fake blood. What else could reddish residue be? I mean, again, maybe hair color, but... What would it have done if I put in the wrong name? Let's see. Code. Let's say let's say I figured it was hair dye instead. I said it was Jane for whatever reason. 
that's five, one, seven, three. Uh, yeah, after a meticulous search, she must face the facts. She doesn't have the jewel. You failed. <laughs> okay. I guess you could have thought that she was the one who stole it. That was interesting. Um, okay, so there was one or two puzzles that were definitely leaps of logic, but for the most part, that was pretty interesting. It really just kind of shoved a whole lot of cards at you, though. It didn't really give you a lot of time to process everything, which I guess is kind of the point, but still. Um, I haven't really seen one that kind of pushed you that hard along the time. That was neat. And I think because of that push, it, it, it didn't take, well, didn't take as long, I guess. Maybe? I don't know. Um, but that means that there's plenty of time to do another one. So I might just try and do three, four. Yeah, I'll try and do another one. Uh, rather than clean this up, I think what I will do is just reload the thing. There we go. Okay. So, this is a little bit weird. The Adventures of Oz. Your eyelids are heavy, you briefly fall asleep, when all of a sudden you're woken by the barking of your dog, Toto. The walls of your house are shaking, no doubt. Uh, the walls of your house are shaking. No doubt, Dorothy, you're in the eye of a tornado, and you fly away, far, far away from Kansas. Put this card over and start the timer. So, to start, take the numbered cards with a mirror on the back. All the other elements of the game are put to the side. Use only when instructed. Instructions are in bold and capital letters. So there's the truth mirror, which is this. Two mirrors. Interesting. Oh, front and back. Okay. Um, there's a map of the Land of Oz, which I'm not allowed to look at right away. And there are six special cards that I can't look at right away. Do not take the following cards yet. Instructions will indicate which one of these cards you must take when the time comes. Please note these cards are double-sided. Okay. All right. Oh, this is a 90-minute timer. Uh, yeah, that should be fine. Okay, so this one could be a longer one. Well, if I run long, that's fine. We'll see. All right, flip this card and start the timer. Oop. Whoa. Take the Dorothy and Toto card and place it front in front of one of the players. Again, if this is some magic eye thing, I don't, I can't do those, so. Um, Dorothy and Toto, does that mean from here? Grimoire. 
Borderline, Hitman, Scarecrow. Yeah, okay, here we go. So... Oh, Dorothy and Toto is the same card. Okay. Um, hang on, before I get into that, let's actually start the timer. So, boop. Um. Six, two, five, eight. Mountains are less than inviting. Hand stork, please, please fish out our friend. Block of crows, right in the north. Gentle breeze wakes up Dorothy up. Finally, they're reunited. The forest seems endless. Then we're better off without this witch. The witch sends her winged monkeys after you. Okay. Oh. The house has a 25 on it. Okay. Have you looked closely at the center of the tornado? Yes, I just found that. <laughs> 25. The Dead Witch of the East. Get rid of card one. Okay, I'll have that as a discard pile. Um... Your house fell on a strange land called Oz and squashed the Witch of the East, who was terrorizing the locals. Unfold the map of the land of Oz. And I get card 14. 14. Slippers. Silver shoes, the dead Witch of the East. They fit you perfectly, Dorothy. They are invested with a powerful magic. Oh, so 0 plus 14 is 14. I'm guessing the, n the number here is... is this? Okay, well, I get the map. Ooh, boy. Okay. That's from the other card. Um, I don't see any hidden numbers. Unless that's meant to be a one. Okay. Rip, the Witch of the East. You are here. So we start there. And it looks like the Munchkin Village is 56. So let's grab that. Ooh, why is that upside down? 56. Discard 25. This one. Why is that? Oh, because this is upside down. Oh, come on. Why aren't these stacking? Oh, because that's a different card. Right. Well, that one's gone. Okay, um, Dorothy and Toto are greeted as heroes. You should ask the gentle witch of the north for help. On your way, you bump into the scarecrow, the tin man, and the lion. Take these character cards and split them among the players. So we've got Dorothy, lion, the tin man, and the scarecrow. 
8, 88, and 80. Bang, muffled sound is heard. Tin Man kills the wolves with his axe. Okay, what is all this? Is it the path? Lion's tail, lion's tail. Chain, chain. It looks like there's a specific like sequence that you have to go through. Crow, crow. And Dorothy also has it. Axe to crow. Finally, they're all reunited. Hmm. Okay, so castle is what? Castle. Castle of Mirrors. Which of the north? Thunderous River. So you have to cross the Thunderous River. River. Oh, I know past the Gentle Witch of the North. So that is Golden Road. Yeah, here we go. Golden Road goes to River. River goes to Boat. Boat goes to Lion's Tail. Actually, hang on. Um, where, where did I start this one? I know past the Dental Witch of the North. Golden Road, uh, or sorry, Yellow Brick Road goes across the land. And it goes to the river. A raft is promptly built. And the raft leads to... Uh, he jumps into the water to pull them onto the bank. And then the lion's tail goes to... Here. A swirl projects the scarecrow into the water. And then splash goes here. Uh, kind stork, please fish out our friend. And then the stork goes to here. I was afraid I'd be stuck forever. And then that goes to seven. I'm guessing seven is the part I'm looking for. That's weird, but I kind of <laughs> I kind of like the like follow the path thing. That's neat. Okay, discard fifty six. Castle of Mirrors. You enter the Castle of Mirrors. The Dental Witch of the North, the North hides behind one of them, but which one? Okay. Is this where I'm supposed to use the mirror? Remove the four gems from the mirror. I think I'm allowed to look at these, I just can't... I don't know what to do with them. Okay, front and back of the mirror. Green, yellow, blue, red.
Hmm. Are these cars different? Oh yeah, they have different gems on the back. Okay, well... That's the wrong way around. It's supposed to go like this? I think the red and the green match. What does that mean? Red and green. Is there anything on here that shows like colors? Not really. How do I assign numbers to this? What does that mean? Hmm. Oh, am I supposed to see this? Oh no, this is Oz. Backwards. And it kind of looks like 50. Could there actually be a 50? There is. I don't know if it's a good idea to take that. Um, I was going to have, well, hmm. So I think this is just meant to be the back of this. Because I don't think there's meant to be two mirror cards. There's only meant to be the one. Yeah, the truth mirror. Remove the four gems. So no, I think this is just meant to be the back of that. So no, I don't think that's 50. How do you figure out a number from that? Oh, she's in the purple area. Oh, sorry, the, the he, she? she? Went to the north? She's in the purple region. But this one? But again, how do I get a number from that? This is really weird. I'm not entirely sure what I'm supposed to be doing here. Eight, eighty, eight, eighty. What happens if I give the shoes to one of these guys? I'm pretty sure that's not how it's meant to be. Um, twenty-two. No. Eight, nine, and those push them over. No, well, that's ninety-four. No. Okay. Nope. Okay, I'm I am stumped as to what I'm supposed to be doing here. Colors of the floor remind you of one of the mirrors on the back of the cards. Yeah, okay, what does that mean? Wait, do I have to go through all the cards until I find the one that has... Really? Is that how that works? So red at the top, purple top right. Red at the top, purple top right.
purple and blue should be the top ones. The red, purple, and then blue. Nope. Red, purple, blue, green, yellow. Is that really the answer? I mean, okay, I guess. The Witch of the North. <sighs> okay. <laughs> that is bizarre, but now that I know that's a thing, I guess I'll keep an eye out for that. Again, I don't think I ever would have thought of that. <clears throat> okay, anyway, uh, the Witch of the North. I don't have the power to send you back to Kansas, Dorothy, but don't despair. Go meet the powerful Wizard of Oz. Take the Mirror of Truth. Ah, okay, so now I have this. It will be useful several times. Also take card 77. 77. Friends, here is one of the six medals. Collect them all, and they will help you at the very end of your quest. Oh... Okay. And now we continue on. Question mark, question mark. I'm guessing we need to find start point with the castle. Well, hang on. Didn't I start there already? I already did that one. That's the destination. That's where I'm trying to get to. So if I'm trying to get to... Oh, it's the City of Emeralds. Oh, it's a different city. Okay. That one's the purple one. So now I need to find the green one. City of Emeralds. Uh, that one. Okay. Yeah. Alright. So, we start with... En route for the City of Emeralds, which leads to the poppy. Uh, here. Let's get out of this deadly flower bed. Zzz. Oh, there's two different paths. You can go for the forwards one or for the backwards one. Ooh. Um... That's for the Scarecrow or for the Tin Man. Let's go with the Tin Man. The Tin Man never sleeps. So alarm clock. Alarm clock. The gentle breeze wakes Dorothy up. Two. So where would the other one have gone? That's weird. Hang on. So if it goes to that, it goes to the rat. The rat goes to here. Lion is brought back to his friends. Friends goes to five. Oh, so it led to a different path. That's interesting. Anyway, um, okay, so I did the Tin Man who never sleeps. Little Breeze wakes Dorothy up. So two. There is no two. So is that the wrong one? Well, hang on, there's no five either. Oh, is it both? 
No, because that's seven. There's no seven either. What the hell? Unless it's meant to be... Hang on. Okay, so the forward-facing one is... This one. Zillowiki asks the field mice for help. The mice then do... The lion is brought back to his friends. Finally, they're all reunited. Five. So if that's five... And that one is the backwards one. Tin Man Never Sleeps. Gentle Breeze wakes Dorothy up. Two. So 52. 52. Oh, okay. Oof. Damn. Oh, it didn't say to discard this one. Okay. Um... City of Emeralds. You're blocked by a strange portal made of a yellow stained glass laid over a blue one. A yellow stained glass laid over a blue one. So that is... Uh, 29. Oops. 29. I'm assuming it's not 92. There is no 92. So yes, it has to be 29. Um, discard 52. Which one of us will ask the way to the Palace of Oz? Hmm. So I guess I have to pick a person asking and who they're asking. Tin Man, Scarecrow, Lion, Dorothy? Dorothy would be... Dorothy with a dog would be 91. So maybe Toto asks the dog? <laughs> um, 3 is also a thing. 83... 83 is not a thing, so Dorothy can't ask him. And 11 is also not a thing, so Dorothy can't ask him. So Dorothy can only ask these two. Um... Scarecrow is 8. So 8, 9, 10, 11. Nope, can't ask him. 8 would be 99. Nope. 8, 8, 9, 10, 11. So 91? Yes. And 19. No. So yeah, the Scarecrow can only ask him. Um, the Tin Man is 80, 83 or 91, 83, nope, 91, yes. So yeah, the Tin Man can only ask him, Scarecrow can only ask him, I'm guessing the Lion can only ask him. Cowardly Lion is 88, 88. 9, 10, 11, 91. Oh, it's the same as that one. Wait, what's the Tin Man? 80? It was 90, yes, yeah, 91. Oh, so 91, 91, 91. 91, they're all 91. Except for three. Three is the only one that's different. Right. So, yeah, Dorothy can only ask these two, which is 3 or 91. 
Scarecrow can only ask this guy, which is 91. Tin Man can only ask this guy, which is 91. And the Lion, Cowardly Lion can only ask this guy, which is 91. So 91 is the wrong one, obviously. It has to be 3. Dorothy for this guy. I'm kind of curious. What is 91? 91 is going to be a Presta thingy, isn't it? Oh, nope. Literally anyone. I guess I could try both. Okay, so... Everyone asking everyone re reveals this. The entrance to the Palace of Oz is blocked by an Arctic gate. And Dorothy asking him gives three. That's the failed one. Weird. Okay, so I got the right one then. 91. Interesting. Would have thought it'd be the other way around, but whatever. Um, I wonder why Dorothy asking this guy is the fail. That's kind of weird, but okay, whatever. Um. It looks like there's a B in the clouds there. So let's go take a look at B. Is there a B? There is no B. What the hell? I guess that could also be an eight. There is no eight. What the hell? Why does that look like that? M? There's an M. I don't, it doesn't look like that. Uh, there's a 2 there. Or... Um, seven? What order am I supposed to put them in? Uh, hang on. What if I do this? Okay. What was the rainbow? Blue, green, yellow, red. Blue, green, yellow, red. Blue, green, yellow, red. So blue, green, yellow, red. Blue, green, yellow, red. Palace opens its gate to you, but the powerful Oz only gives brief audiences. Okay, discard 29, 44, what's 44? Forty four. Why am I discarding forty four? Oh, 44. <coughs> okay. Um, okay. 
And 91. And take card 36. A guard welcomes you. The Great Oz will now see each one of you. Read the following cards in order. M A G I C. <laughs> M A G I and C. Okay. M. Dorothy moves forward. I would like to go back to Kansas with my dog. Oz, appearing as a huge head, tells Dorothy, Rid us of the Wicked Witch to the West, and I will help you. To be placed under Dorothy, main quest. After defeating the Wicked Witch of the West, go to Glinda, the Good Witch of the South. Okay. The Scarecrow moves forward. If I only had a brain. Oz takes the features of a very beautiful woman and says, First look for the weakness of the Wicked Witch of the West. Optional quest. The key to your brain is hidden on the back of the six medals. For each of the five jewel slots, the missing color is the correct one. Okay. So, red would be missing from that one? Right, so I need to collect the rest of the keys. Uh, that's for the Scarecrow. Um, the Tin Man moves forward. If I only had a heart. Oz takes the appearance of a monster and says, Cross the Forbidden Forest to reach the Wicked Witch of the West. Your axe will not help you trace your path. Optional quest. Outline your heart in this machine. The six medals and your friends will help you. Eighty. Oh, okay. And your friends, so... Seventy-seven, zero, eighty-eight. Yeah, okay, I see. I mean, I won't be able to do it because I'm missing the keys, but seventy-seven, zero, eighty-eight, and eighty. And then five more things. One, two, three, four, five. Is one missed? Oh, I guess his own one, eight. So yeah, five more keys is one, two, three, four, five. I mean, I can pretty much figure out what they are. I don't know if I necessarily need to find the rest of the keys. But... No, I think I'll leave that one. So that is Tin Man. And then... The line comes forward timidly. If I only had courage. Balls of fire start flying. We are powerless against the Wicked Witch of the West. Defeat her. Go now. Optional quest. The path to your courage lies within the six medals. Three are hidden in the map of the Land of Oz. Three are hidden in the map of the Land of Oz. So 
Are there numbers? Oh. 33? The Fighting Trees. I know I'm supposed to read this, but what's 33? Haha. <laughs> Fighting trees cannot be defeated. However, you find one of the six medals before retracing your steps. Okay. So there's supposed to be two more? Two more hidden in the map. Um... I don't really see any other... Unless that's a 20? There is a 20. I guess I could give it a try. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Secret numbers of the Land of Oz take you to unforeseen places. Far from your original mission, you find one of the six medals. Okay, so there should be one more. Let's see, I found one here, one here. There has to be one on this side of the map. What else would form a number? Um, hmm. That might be something stupid, like the number of locations on the map or something. I think I might... Hmm. Uh, oh, hang on. What's with these sparks? It's two there. There's one there. Are there any other little flares? Why are there three flares there? Doesn't really... I mean, it forms a V, I guess, but there's no more letter cards. Hmm, I might come back to that. Um, let's just finish off this one. Ooh, for Pete's sake. The Forbidden Forest. Oh. Okay. Oh, good grief, this is going to take a while to figure out. Um, I wonder if I should mark these off. Okay, so you start with this tree. Hmm. Can I make this circle bigger? Hmm. 
Hmm. Yeah, whatever. Okay, so you start with this tree. Um, it looks like... Oh, it didn't actually... Oh, it's floating off the card. Okay, whatever. Uh, it looks like that one. So that tree goes to that tree, which is this one. And the big bushy tree goes to there. There's the dark green one. The dark green one goes to there. Spindly tree goes to the bushy tree. Bushy tree goes to dark green. Dark green goes to spindly tree. Spindly tree goes to big tree. Big tree goes to dark green. Dark green goes to spindle. Spindle goes to big tree. Okay, so it's basically spindle, big, dark green. Spindle, big, dark green. The big, dark green. Spindle, big, dark green. Spindle, big, dark green. Um, spindle, big, dark green. Yeah, spindle, big, dark green, spindle, big, dark green, spindle, big, dark green. Okay, so that's the path through. What is that supposed to be? Is that supposed to be a number? It looks like it could almost be a 45 if this had a thing. Is there a 45? There is. Thirty-six and C. Is that right? Is that where I'm supposed to be going? Or the aired peaks. Thirty-six and C. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So yeah, it was forty-five. <laughs> okay. So that one and that one are gone. And ugh, all these markings I need to get rid of. There we go. Okay. For the peaks, the Wicked Witch of the West has only one eye, but she can see everything. She sends a pack of hungry wolves on your path. So start at wolf. Where is wolf? Wolf. The tin man kills the wolves with his axe. A flock of crows arrives from the north. Crow is... Two different crows. I know how to handle this type of bird. Crows goes to bees. 
these. The wasps bump into tin. The guy uh, frightened the guards run away from the lion. Lion crown head. Lion crown head. The witch sends her winged monkeys after you. Winged monkey. Uh, the winged monkeys and chain the lion. Cross chains. Oh. Is this another one where... Um... His straws are removed and his head torn, so that's one. And the tin man remains lying all battered. Five. So fifteen. Fifteen? Fifteen. Discard forty-five. Everybody's thrown into the dungeon except Dorothy, who becomes the servant of the Wicked Witch of the West. 57, 84, 68. Oops. Uh, 57. 68. 84. The dungeon. A foul-smelling guard with a sooty face blocks the entrance to the dungeon. He doesn't seem hostile, just tired of being in servitude to the Wicked Witch of the West. Two, boy. The guards are blocking your way. You need your friend's help. Um, okay. <laughs> and then 84 is... Oh, jeez. The kitchen. The only place where, oddly enough, the Wicked Witch leaves you alone. Thread, food, hot poker, oil, bucket of water. Okay. Um. Missing color. Path to your courage lies within the six medals. Okay. And that one. Okay, before I do anything with this, I mean, I got the very least figure out which numbers I'm missing. The machine, 80, uh, 0, 8, 80, 88, and 33, 27, 20. I'm kind of missing 59, 31, and 87. 59, 31, and 87. Is there anything in here that would be a 59, 31, or 87? Oh. 59. In the pool of water. <laughs> okay, 59. Oh, hang on. Yeah, 59. I was thinking it's in the pool of water, so it would be reflected, but mm, I don't think it's that. Could be wrong. Nah, let's go with 59. Yeah, there we go. 
You walk along the banks of a lake and stumble upon one of the six metals in the sand. Keep it. It might come in handy. Okay, so I just need two more. And that's 59. So I only need two more. I mean, I, I can just do this. <laughs> what a lovely heart. Take card 66. Uh, because he has recovered his heart, the Tin Man can reign over the western region, now vacant. He gives you a three. Discard G. Okay, that's his one done. <laughs> um, okay, so now I need to figure out what is going on with this. The question is, do I give the item to him or to Dorothy? Anything that's given to Dorothy is going to just be a straight up zero. So, ten? No. That's th three again, so no. Eight? No. Nineteen? No. Sixty-two? No. So none of these match with Dorothy. I'm, th I'm thinking that they're not going to match with any of these either. Uh, Scarecrow, 8. Scarecrow with a needle and thread? That would be 70. There is a 70. Um, Tin Man with the oil? That would be 83. There is no 83. And 88 for the lion. 88, 96? There's a 96. So I can give the tin... I can give the tin man... Oh, sorry, I can give the scarecrow the needle and thread. I can give the lion food. What would the tin man want? 80... 90? There's a 90. Hot poker? I don't know what you do with a hot poker. Okay, well, let's, I guess, start trying these out. Worst that can happen is I'm just going to lose time. So, none of them go with Dorothy. Um, the Scarecrow... 8. Um, there's an 18, but giving him a hot poker is probably not the greatest idea. Uh, 8. There's no 16. 8, 9, 10, 11. There's no 11. Uh, 27. There's no 27. And there's a 70. Okay, I'm going to try and give him the needle and thread. There we go. I'll distract the one in the middle, says the Scarecrow. Remaining guards from lowest to highest. Oh, right. Did it say something about how they were... Straw is removed and his head torn. Right, so the threads and things work for that. The Tin Man remains lying all battered. Hmm. And the Winged Monkeys enchain the lion. If he was torn apart, that makes sense. Uh, the Tin Man was battered and the lion was enchained. Okay. Um, the Tin Man, 80. Uh, 80. So that would be 90. There's a 90. 88. There isn't an 88. 83. There isn't an 83. 99. There isn't a 99. So 
So it has to be the hot poker. Why would the Tin Man want a hot poker? The Tin Man is in better shape, but he still can't utter a single word. Okay. So the poker put him back together again. What about 93? There's a 93. Okay, oil. Discard 90. Oil can. I'll handle the first bald guard on the right and the one on his left, says the Tin Man. Okay, and now the lion. Uh, there's only the food and the water left, so... 88. That would be too high. 88 plus 19 is like over 100. So it has to be 96. I scare the second mustachioed on the left and the one on his right, says the lion. Oh, I wonder if I have to give him a bucket of water then to clean himself up. Uh, 50, 60, 76. Yeah, let's give you a good wash. Um, 57 is discarded. The guard seems affected by your gesture. The switch makes us work to death, and we get some respite only on rainy days. You're a good person, so I'll let you see your companions, even if they are badly bashed up. Oh, was I supposed to do this first? Eh, whatever. Okay, now let's see. Um, I think what I might do is... Okay, um, so the Scarecrow is just going to distract the one in the middle. So this guy. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yep. Yeah. Uh, the Scarecrow is going to distract the first bald guard on the right and the one to his left. First bald guard on the right and the one to his left. And the line is going to scare the second mustachioed one on the left and the one to his right. Uh, the second mustachioed one. So him and the one on the right. So one, four, six, nine. His right is your left, and vice versa. What? You've got to be kidding me. What? On his right. On his left. Oh, for Pete's sake. <laughs> um... First bold guard on the right and on his left. His left is there. Oh, for Pete's sake. Second mustachioed one on the and the one on his right. So these two. Oh poop. Three, four, six, seven. Okay. The guards allow themselves to be convinced and let you pass. Time has come to face the witch. Um, discard 68. That one. Discard 68. 70. Ninety-three. 
and 96. Not 84? Really? Oh, I guess in case you still have to do this. Okay, and then take card 24. Wicked Witch of the West, who has a withered face, orders you dry. Like, give me these magic silver shoes and I'll spare your life. What happens if I do give her the shoes? 38? Is there a 38? There is. <laughs> okay, I'm not doing this because I know this is not the right answer. I'm just curious to see what happens. I'm not doing this. Yeah. You trust the word of a wicked witch? Press the penalty button. Yeah, I kind of figured. Um, okay. Well. The witch makes us work to death and we get some respite only on rainy days. So she doesn't like working on rainy days. Hmm. I wonder what she's afraid of. Um, I wonder where the other two medals are. Hmm. Yeah, well, anyway. Um, gee, I wonder what will work on her. Um, 30, 43? Yep. <laughs> okay, 15, 24, 15, 24. 76, 84. 76. 84. The Wicked of the West dissolves upon contact with water. All that remains of her are a few curls of green smoke. Take card 31 and a bunch of others. Oh. Um, 31. 73. 85, 39. Okay. Anything else? Any other numbers? Doesn't look like it. No, I think that's fine. Okay, so 31 is another metal. One more to go. Um, 73 is the... Uh, crystal ball. Dorothy lightly touches the crystal ball when a message pops up, repeating itself endlessly. Uh, okay, so that's an audio one. Uh, 85 is the books. So oh, good grief. And 39 is the monkey helmet. The bookcase. The books hold the truth. Oh, okay. Um... The golden cap of the witch Wicked Witch of the West gives control of the winged monkeys. With the correct magic formula, they could obey your command. Okay, well, bookcase holds the truth. Um, O Z R E. What about this way around? F O U R four. There is no four.
Uh, hang on, let's see what this machine is. So 73. Oh, if it's music, I might need to... Hang on, I need to turn the music on. Purple, blue, yellow, red. Um, okay, what the hell? Ah, there it is, text. Okay. Purple, blue, yellow, red, blue, purple, red, blue. Hmm. Purple, blue. Yellow, red, blue, purple, red, blue. Okay. There's no purple in this, though. Oh, blue. North. North. East. West. South. Does that mean anything? Hang on. North. West. Uh, east. West. South, East, North, South, East, New Sense? What does New Sense mean? New sense, and this is four. New sense four. What does that mean? New sense four. New sense four. Hmm. New sense four. New sense four. What does that mean? New sense four. Blue, purple, red. So the green and yellow ones haven't been done yet. So it has to be green or yellow for that one. New sense four. What am I supposed to do with these? New sense and then four.
Books hold the truth. Or... I don't think it can be anything else. That has to be a four digit number. O E F U? Hmm. I think I'm trying to figure out two different things here. I don't think New Sense has anything to do with this. How are you supposed to figure this out with only one number? Yeah, I think this might be hint time. <clears throat> 85. Mirror Truth should guide you through the books so as to find the four digit code. Yeah, okay. So, four. N I N E. That was four. No, that's not. Oh yeah, N I N E. So that could be nine, four nine. Four nine. Four nine. Four nine five. This is the one that doesn't make sense. Four nine five. Oh, zero. Four nine five zero. But in what order? Four nine five zero. Um. Four, four, zero, four, zero, nine, five. Okay. You find an interesting excerpt in a grimoire. Take this card in the deck. Let's put aside. Yeah, why can't I? Oh, right, it's not a thing, it's text. Um, trash. Okay, take the Grimoire. Black for only the formula, the monkeys, the digits, the cat B. Magic layman requires right. Rewinged, add two of golden to obeyed. <laughs> For Pete's sake, what is this? Mm. 
Okay, black magic for only layman. Requires right. Monkeys rewinged the digits. Had to golden the cat be to a point. That doesn't make any sense. Um, I don't think this helps in any way. Hmm. Um, okay. Magic black layman for only requires write the formula. No, that doesn't write. That doesn't make three winged the monkeys. Add to the digits of golden cat B to obeyed. Add two digits. Add two the digits. 41? Is there 41? No, there isn't. Um, so discard 85. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that one's gone. Hmm. You obtain the formula to read every other word on each side. Every other word for the or the the what? Every other word on each side of the card. Layman right winged to golden obeyed. What? For the 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 B. What? This doesn't make any sense. Every other word, what is it talking about? I think 12. Why is it 12? I don't want the card, I want to know how you're supposed to solve this. Every other word, what? Black only formula, monkeys, digits, cat. It doesn't make any sense. Magic requires re add of two. Um, I do not get that in the slightest. How the hell was that supposed to work? Oh, hang on. There is a... Hang on, hang on. There should be 
Solution book. What the hell is it talking about every other word? That doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Black magic for layman. What? Or you alternate between them. But that's not every other word, because you're starting with the first word. Black magic. Black magic for layman. Only requires the right. Oh, you go back and forth. What? Black magic for layman only requires the right formula. Re. Read the winged monkeys. Add the two digits of the golden cap to be obeyed. That is a bullshit puzzle. Wow. Okay. Uh, yeah, 9, 10, 11, 12. Wow, that is garbage, and the hint is useless. Okay, well, whatever. Uh, get rid of 39. I'm guessing I don't need this anymore either. That was kind of garbage, I have to say. Did not like that one at all. Um, once in your service, the winged monkeys take you from the witch's castle to the city of emeralds. However, Oz seems reluctant to help you. Dorothy threatens to use the monkeys against him. Take card 74. Sorry, 74. Card 12. Great Oz accepts to see you. Introduce yourselves one by one. Feel free to tell Oz his home truth. Um, plus nine. Okay, so... Uh, Dorothy would be... Plus nine. Dorothy would be nine. Dorothy, you seem to be at ease in our land. Why do you insist on going back home? Okay, uh, the Scarecrow is next. He would be 8, 17. Scarecrow, you must have been very wise to defeat the Wicked Witch of the West in such a way, don't you think? Uh, that one first. Um, and this goes back into here. Uh, Tin Man. Plus nine. Eighty-nine. You're proud, Tin Man, to have found such good friends. That's the proof you have a great heart, even if it doesn't beat. All the symbols are the same. Okay. 
And then finally, the lion is 88, so 97. You have much courage for rescuing your friends. It is not my help that you need, it is faith in yourself. Okay. Um, hmm. Yellow, red, blue. Yellow, red, blue, green. So that's pointing at the stork. Is there a stork? That's for a lion. Hmm. Stork. I was afraid I'd be stuck forever. It's seven. Ah, so he is seven. Okay. Uh, the next one was the Tin Man. Green. Uh, green, red, blue, yellow. How do I put this on? That? The people? I don't think it's that because that puts the red off and that puts the green off. So it has to be that one. So the friends. Uh, which is five. I hope I'm getting this right. Oh, and I'm about to run out of time. Damn it. Um... Red, blue, yellow, green points towards, looks like the witch's hat. Which is eight. Jump down has vanished, blah, blah, blah. And... Yellow, blue, red. Yellow, blue, red points towards the mountains. The mountains are six. So six, eight, five, seven. Well, it was an illusion. Instead of Oz, you find an old man behind a screen. Oof. <clears throat> okay, discard. Nine. That's these ones, right? Yep, nine. Seventeen. Seventy-four. Eighty-nine, ninety-seven. Take card twenty-one. 
The Great Oz offers to take you to a place of your choice in a hot air balloon, but where would you like to go? The machine. 21. North, east, west, south. Oh, is that where we put in this? North, east, west, south, east, north, south, east. After a harsh fight, the winds finally push you in the right direction. Take card 69. That's east. I thought I was supposed to be going south. Sixty-nine. Yeah, why am I going east when I'm supposed to be going to Glinda's castle? That's weird. Anyway. Uh, discard. 21. 73. 43 and M. And M? Was I supposed to have an M? Oh, wait. What's card M? Oh, this one. But wait, where was the last medal? Welcome, my friends. Your quest is coming to an end. Dorothy, I'll help you get home, but first you must take the wrong way. Okay. Missing color is the correct one. Hmm. And there's this. I know I'm missing the top, uh, the, well, I guess the bottom of. Question mark, question mark. I hope you get home, but first you must take the wrong way. Oh, is there a start point at Glinda's castle? It's what, pink? Well, red with green tops. Red with green top. Red with green top. No, there isn't a path for that. Hmm. I need these anymore. Take the wrong way. Put the no entry card over. Uh, 
of this. Oh, that's the wrong way. Oh, okay. <laughs> right. <clears throat> Okay, discard 69. Read the following only at Glenda the Good Witch of the South asked you to. <clears throat> the silver shoes can carry someone to a place dear to their heart, Dorothy. You will only have to knock the heels together three times while keeping in mind the path to your house. Take card 53. Which is the one that's backwards. A vision of Kansas. There's no place like home. Where am I supposed to find the final key? Um... Okay, 67, but I don't think that's the right one. I think it's meant to be backwards. Fifty, sixty, sixty-seven. Yeah, there is no 67. So if this is backwards, there'd be 35. So 49, but there's no 49 either. Or if I do 50, 60, 67, that's 76. No, this is 75. Um. Three times, 14 times three, four, eight, 12, 42. Oh, 42 and 53 is 95, 95. You did it, Dorothy, but if you have more time, your friends still need you. Take card 87. Ah, the final medal. Um, to return directly to Kansas, enter code 1111. To help your friends, enter code that. So discard 14 and 53. Okay, so for Scarecrow, the optional quest is for each of the five missing jewels, the missing color is the correct one. So yellow. So I'm looking for a card that has yellow on the bottom left. Fifty. Didn't I already see this card? Ah, no, okay. Because of his intelligence, Oz designates the Scarecrow to be his successor. He gives you a nine. Okay, and discard A. Alright, and now the lion. Uh, this is the tricky bit. So question mark, question mark. So it's those two paths. So I need to figure out in what order they go in. Um, so that's the top at the bottom. That's the top, that's the bottom. And these ones have to go in the middle. So, maybe I should work bottom up. Does that one fit? 
That one does not fit. How about this one? That one does fit. Sort of. For the most part. Good enough. Okay, and then on top of that one is... Not that one. Ooh, close, but not quite, no. Oh, hang on, yes. Yeah, it goes there, okay. That's that one. Um, then it looks like this one. And this one. And then this one on top. Okay. So I have to follow this line. Do 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 which comes uh, all the way back up here, around seven. Seventy-five. Seventy-five. Ta-da! Now that the lion has regained his courage, he is appointed king of animals. He gives you a nine. And remove I. Okay, so for this, I need Scarecrow, Tin Man, and then Lion. So... One, nine, three, nine. One, nine, three, nine. You're back in Kansas, but you'll never forget your friends and this extraordinary adventure. Awesome. I was only about 15 minutes over on that one. 16-ish. Again, one or two kind of bullshit puzzles, but on the whole, that was pretty good. Failed. Yeah, so that's if you try to give the poker to the uh, Scarecrow. That's when you try and attack her with the poker. With the four elements, fire is indeed the one I am the least sensitive to. And you trust the word of the Wicked Witch. Okay, interesting. Alright, so that is... Secret Adventures. That's the three from that one. These are really good. I really enjoy these. Again, I kind of wish there were more of them on, uh, t on tabletop. Because I wouldn't mind playing through the rest of these. Uh, but as it is, there are four more. Um, there's the three from Epic Adventures. And I had one more that was by itself. Is that still a thing? Or did it get removed? Oh, uh, here he goes. In Pursuit of the White Rabbit. So, there's a few more of these to go through. And then I'll have to find something else, I guess. But... There are a couple of other ones I wouldn't mind trying. There are these Escape Tales ones that I wouldn't mind giving a try. I think I tried the Awakening a little bit. I think I may have done the first couple of puzzles. I don't remember if it was that good, but I wouldn't mind giving it another try. And I can do Escape Tales as well. Um, one thing that's kind of similar to them are, is Time Stories. 
where you're kind of going through, you're collecting clues, you're solving puzzles. It's much bigger and more involved. It's much more of an actual gamer game um, than this, which is just kind of going through cards. But there's a bunch of ones for time stories, and I wouldn't mind doing them as well. But in addition to the board gamey stuff, I wouldn't mind getting back into doing some computer gamey stuff. Um, kind of a nostalgia kick. There's some older games I wouldn't mind playing on stream because it's been a while since I've played them last and because it would be fun to revisit them again. Um, but that is for the future. As of right now, I am a little past time, but I should probably be calling it a night here. So, um, thank you all for watching. Um, if you haven't already, Feel free to subscribe on YouTube. Oh, sorry, subscribe. Yes, subscribe on YouTube and follow on Twitch. Well, and or, either way. Um, every click really does help. And for those of you who have already done so, I thank you very, very much. I really do appreciate it. But I think that'll be enough for puzzles and card games for tonight. So... Um, I will see you all next time.